Modern Venice saw these creepy mask shops. They got pretty much every mask you can imagine. They got like a dinosaur down there, a hippo, an elephant, you name it, they got it. Oh, this is kind of cool because it looks kind of like the Pennsylvania crest. Like that. It kind of looks like it with the horses in it. It's kind of cool. Here's the famous St. Mark's Square with its friggin' enormous tower, bell tower. You can see the bell right up in there. Here's, uh, I forgot what this is called. I think it's actually St. Mark's Cathedral. <laughs> and then this uh, this part over here was this kind of interesting that all the architecture is different. This is kind of Baroque. That's kind of Romanesque. Napoleon made all that possible. It's a whole flock of the famous St. Mark's Square pigeons. They will attack you. Watch this little piggy eat you. They will literally jump right on you to get food. It is scary. It's like being in a Hitchcock film. Have the camera? No, 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 no. Look at these little buggers. Just walk right up there. You can literally just reach out and kick them. And you think it'd be a good thing to do, but don't want to deprive the kitties of their fun. In Venice and a lot of Italy is these gelato parlors that they sell. Gelato, which is Italian ice cream. They got all sorts of good stuff here. It looks like pistachio over here. Melon, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, lemon, and mint chocolate, and tiramisu. Remember when ordering gelato is that generally the places with less flavors have better quality because they're not working so hard to do the other flavors. They are working harder, the ones with greater quantities of flavors and more complex ones such as this. Might be a little subpar, so go for the stick for simple one. Go for one off the beaten track because it's a lot cheaper. The thing you'll see a lot of in Venice is all this beautiful glass work. Venetian glass is very famous. This is really cool. Glass guitar costs like 6,000 euros. There's a turtle, a violin, there's like a parrot over there, a bunch of fruits and mushrooms and raspberries and cherries, and then more cool masks, uh, and some scary clown. Look over there, they got a really cool glass samurai sword or katana. That's just freaking awesome. I'd buy that if it wasn't so expensive. Over here, they got a glass bow and arrow. And down there, if you kind of look through there, you can see the handles and more samurai swords. It's like a full set of there. It's really all this stuff's really cool. It's really beautifully made and it's just really cool. Really expensive, but really cool. Here is St. Mark's Square. You can see the lovely cathedral over there. Very nice aside, too. You know, I'll have to take the camera in. And the Italian flag. And a Venice, Venetian flag and some other flag. Some more cool glasswork, like this gondola and some sort of ship thing. And down here is a cool glass knife. You draw attention to This is a freaking huge officer. Look how big my hand is compared to it. That thing would eat you. You want to spit you out. Here's a pump of fish. And here's another fish. Stinging. An icy tomb. And here's a black fish. Really weird. He's even bigger, and I think he's cooked. Look how giant his claw is. I do an idea of scale here. That thing at the top of there is about the size of my hand. This lobster's claw right here is about the size of my hand. Okay? I'll prove it. Look. That lobster's hand is bigger than mine. And he's eating a little. Helpless crab right there. So sad. Squid, and here's some octopus. Delicious. Beautiful examples of Venetian glasswork. Over here we got a really cool looking eagle. And then some dolphins, and more masks, and various fruits and other things. There's another eagle behind it. Flowers, you name it, they can make it out of glass. It's pretty cool. And some more scary clowns, too. The gondolas, also something Venice is very famous for. Yeah, once you see one gondola, you've seen them all. They're just big, long black boats, and they're cool looking. And they're driven by guys who they just got out of the state pen. The Rialto, it's a very famous bridge. It's got a bunch of shops on it. And it goes over the Grain Canal. It's pretty big. And yes, there those are actual stores on there. There's a walkway down the middle, too. It's very poor city planning to plan a city built on water.
Tyke is, and High Tyke comes in, this is probably going to flood up over the sidewalk. Nice moon. Nice pretty place. Lots of people. This is really, really pretty. You got the St. Mark's Square, some church, the, uh, at the Sia Dorno or whatever, Cathedral, we got the Grand Canal, and the moves. Very nice. You see the tide coming up onto the sidewalk, and that's why it's really bad city planning to build a city in the middle of the bay. You can see it's just coming up right over there. The waves come up, there it goes. Loop. When it rains, it's gotten to like five feet in St. Mark's Square. That's pretty insane. Can you imagine how much it sucks? They had hurricanes here, but luckily they don't. Look at that. That like almost came up to where I was standing. There's a submarine in the middle of the Venice Canal. That is really weird. Not something you see every day. Do our waiting line here. 